morning. Oh, hello and welcome to my daily vlog. Um, it's a lot nicer and warmer. Look at that, we have got some clouds in the sky, but not too many today. So, um, yeah, I've, I'd like to say we'd cut some grass, but I think in two days time, it's gonna absolutely um, rain it down. And um, yeah, so what we're gonna be getting on with today, really, but you'll find out if you stay watching and uh, we'll get some, uh, got some jobs ticked off. So I'm on the straw board, just putting this out, directing it around. Yeah, builders are here, putting the uh, nets on, getting all ready for sheeting. These guys are walking about on the savannas of South Yorkshire here. Noah's on, just doing a mix. Right, I'm gonna go for a walk in the maze and uh, spray around one or two of the manholes that are in there with the knapsack. Noah's down there getting some bales out of the shed. So I'm out in the field here look at what these guys are up to with the building it's coming along nicely and we're getting down the straw I think we'll have plenty left so I'm just walking back now and this is one of the areas where it's really strong land see down there thick as anything well here it's stronger and also the crows have been pulling it out and I think that is why that seed there that maize seed is in the middle of the row so they've picked it out and then for some reason not eating it and it started growing um yeah i think that's what's hammered a lot of this maybe a bit of slug damage i don't know this row's damaged because it's the uh, tram line that's where i've been running on it wondering i thought there's not many holes in the leaves for slug damage so yeah that's the worst bit of the field anyway See, I don't just always show you the best bits. We will, I will show you where it's not come quite as well. Um, it was all there when it came up. It's the crows have, have hammered it a bit, really. Should have had, should have had um, a bit more time, I think, popping them off. Well, no idea how that's got there, but golf ball. I don't know why I bother picking them up because I don't play golf. But there's just something when you see one, you got to pick one up. Dunlop Tor Gold number two, whatever that means. That's what it is. The uh, the builders are really getting on with that um, with that shed. I think I'll save the update though until tomorrow, um, because we've got some at uh, some at coming at uh, well some at coming tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, we'll uh, we'll let you know about that when it turns up. Right, so I've just had my dinner. It's got to that time already, and. Um, Jim's here from Cowgills, come to pick up the drill, so the horse is leaving us today, unfortunately, but um, those guys are going to use it to stitch in some herbal lays into some grass, very similar to what we were doing. So he's here with his fancy tractor, with the fancy GPS, a bit newer than ours, so this is a 215 6R. Hi right, Jim! Hello. You, you mastered it. No, what do we do with this? Let's have a look. Jim's off now. Can't get ice bus working. We're working on our tractor though. There he goes. Bye bye, Horsh. Go. On. So Noah's just trying to fix these lights and here we've got the cramp ones on just to make sure that everything works um, on the tractor side hazards there we go doesn't work on the trailer though right I'm gonna head to our local um, car parts store and get a plug for that trailer so we can get the lights up and running properly so I think somebody's pulled the wire on it so yeah it just needs fixing so i'm back into the yard now i'll show you what i've got in a second so i've got a ready wired um 
female plug, right? So then what I'll get is one of those, you know, those like coiled up ones that you get for um, for like lorries with the springy, uh, the springy wire thing. I'll get one of them. And then if somebody does the wire again, all we do is just buy a new thing, plug it in and away we go. We're not faffing about trying to rewire stuff because this is what takes all the time. Like if you leave somebody rewiring somewhere, it could be, you know, it could take them hour, like hours of faffing. Um, whereas just buy another plug now. If this goes on today, if it goes again, it's just, yeah, simple, isn't it? These guys are cutting um, the girders. I'm just going to get that, put that on there, right? And then I've got one of them to go on to hold it down, then just rewire it. All right, Mike, I'm not kissing you. No kissing you. <laughs> you have a nice weekend. Brilliant. Yeah? Outstanding. Are you feeling all right? Yeah. Did you get, did you have too many? Or were you very good? I'm good. Good. Congratulations. Yes, Deborah. Don't you? Oh, hey! Back off! Back off! <laughs> she knows the line. Don't you, Debbie? I'm coming. What are you having done? I'm I'm uh, building. Oh. New sheds going up. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to pick some cows up anyway from Bakewell, so I'm Did off. Your He's going to take me now. Your daddy? Pick Laurie up. Yeah. Ooh. Oof. Glad I'm out of way. See you in a bit then. Okay. Dilly dilly. Dilly. Right. So picking the daff up now. Over there, oh, we'll get over to uh, Bakewell and pick up some cattle. I think she's had some new brake discs or something, something like that, anyway. That's why she's been away. That every there is absolutely huge, like colossal distribution center. Right, we're in Chesterfield now, so we'll. Uh, Make our way on to Bakewell. Here we go. Oh, we're coming up on a New Holland. Looks like he's been topping. Get past. Get back in. Happy days. Well, we've got fields of barley looking uh, quite ripe there. We've got pigeons landing in it. Because it's gone down. Oh, we got a big Scania coming up. Yeah, boy. More Scanias. Some sheep on there. Well, here we go. Well dressing Bakewell. 29th and 8th of July. Ooh, don't know what that is then. Um, anyway, we're in here. We. Uh, I think Miss Atten was going to try and tell me to turn off in a second, but that um, I found out last time that leads me to a bit of a dodgy place. So we'll uh, we'll continue into the town centre. Yeah, it wanted me to turn off here, and then sometimes they don't open the road or something, and if that's the case, you're in trouble. So we'll go into the town centre and then uh, turn off off. Is it Haddon Road, I think? Try that way. Little Porsche box to in from. Quite nice going over this old bridge. Might get tight if another lorry comes. I don't know when it dates back to Bakewell, but it must be fairly old. Got a massive, got a massive fans. Here we go. Yeah, it does look nice round here, doesn't it? Got the flags out and stuff. Have a pint outside the wheat sheaf. Oh, lovely jubbly. The cattle lorry, a daft this time. And we've got a case tractor down here. Looks like it's on uh, turf tyres. Yeah, it is. The show here on the 14th of July, so that's coming up Sunday, the 14th of July. 
the Bakewell Country Festival, it says. So whether that's Bakewell Show or whether that's a different thing altogether, I'm not quite sure, but 14th of July there's something on here. We just got parked up, we better see if uh, I can get a bit closer. Pretty much there, I think. We're heading to the office and get the paperwork and then we're on our way. So it's a big um, market hall and there's a cafe next door, so wherever I get a coffee, if uh, it's still open, it might look like it's shut though, I think. Ah, it is. Yeah, it's shut. Quite a big cafe though. Yeah, can even get an ice cream here, look. Bits of sale, bits of mobs like that. Um, but yeah, I'd better get back on my way. No ice, no ice creams for me. Um, it would have been nice for a can of pop, but... I'll be right. I'll, I'll last till I get home. Right, onwards uh, and back to South Yorkshire. These guys are in here. Team in the market are just cleaning it all down now. So after every market, they will wash it down completely. Um, and it happens at every market across the country. So, yeah. I think there's just like one battery cattle left in here. Other than that, but we'll get these home now and um, get into their fresh bedded yard and get them some air to eat. Oh, off we go. So I think what I'll do is I'll set the video compiling and uploading now so that um, it's ready for when we get back because it's going to be uh, late otherwise. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have, press the like button. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, Yorkshire show starts tomorrow, but I'm not there until Wednesday. Um, but hopefully those attend tomorrow. We'll have a good time. And um, yeah, I'm there, yeah, there on Wednesday at 12 o'clock doing the fashion show which don't ask and then uh, there on thursday as well 12 o'clock a virtual motor stand so fashion shows on the sheep shearing stand find me there at 12 on wednesday um, if you're there Be brilliant to see some people right thanks for watching i'll see you later bye right i'm back in the yard anyway so the videos carried on <laughs> uh, we'll get these unloaded first job and then i'm gonna get a drink you know these guys off. Nice and steady, does it? There we go. Coming to start washing the lorry out. Looks like these guys have um, got the <laughs> AHDB poster out at Let's Eat Balanced and put it on as a, a cover for the table. There we go. Oh, they look good, don't they? Woo! Yeah! So, I've got the uh, lorry washed off, or we're nearly there. Get your shoes on! So, um, yeah, the kids have been at the farm because there's an Ofsted inspection at Becky's school, so um, there's been a bit of stress on there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. Um, second ending from Joe Seals, as per usual, or whatever you want to call it. All they keep saying Joe Seals ending, it's because I do multiple ones on certain days. Um, yeah, if you've liked it, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, massive update tomorrow on the shed. I've not put the shed update in um, right at the end of the video today, but tomorrow you will see it has grown and um, we're getting some special things. Um, tomorrow so stay tuned for that because big update news coming in tomorrow's video business bye